this is definitely an attack. It will affect your child rearing, it will affect your education system. This is instructions for the teacher in the classroom to ask her or his students how do people express their sexual feelings? Oral sex, masturbation, anal sex, massage, holding hands, touching each other's genitals, saying I like you. It is pornography. Men, especially on the house floor, did not want to look at. We couldn't show this on the television news, but yet we want our fourth grade children to be looking at this book. The World Health Organization standards for sexuality education in Europe actually suggest that children ages zero to four should be given information about masturbation and given the right to explore their gender identities. For ages four to six, children should be taught about same-sex relationships and respect for different norms regarding sexuality. Some of the objectives of the UNESCO sexuality education guidelines include teaching children at age nine about sexual stimulation and the definition and function of orgasm and at age 15 that both men and women can receive sexual pleasure with a partner of the same or opposite sex. An online CSE program for African youth called The World Starts With Me tells children that sexuality includes oral sex and masturbation. They have elementary students as young as nine years old then they teach them how to wear a condom and they have this plastic genitalia and they even have uh, young girls, they're teaching them how to put a condom on a male genitalia and boys how to put a condom on a woman genitalia without the knowledge and consent of the parents. They're giving them handouts, negotiating sexual encounters with other students. For example, there are statements like this, can I take your shirt off? It makes me hot when you touch me here. Is it okay if I take my pants off? This pamphlet called Healthy, Happy and Hot tells young people that you have the right not to disclose your HIV status to a sexual partner if you're not comfortable. It also tells young people that are HIV positive that if they decide with their partner not to wear a condom, that's their decision. On page 89 of a UNICEF published sexual and reproductive health manual, UNICEF listed situations in which one can obtain sexual pleasure that included sexual responses directed towards inanimate objects, animals, minors, and non-consenting persons. In the context of the Sustainable Development Goals that determines the agenda for the next 15 years, the voice is very, very biased. It's just International Planned Parenthood Federation and their affiliates. It's All One, however, like most CSC programs, is really just cleverly disguised abortion rights, sexual pleasure education, masquerading as human rights, gender, and sexual and reproductive health education. It aggressively promotes abortion with over 112 references to abortion. It's All One has an obsessive focus on sexual pleasure, mentioning sexual pleasure 62 times. Comprehensive sexuality education programs are disguised under many names. They may be called comprehensive sex or sexual education, education on human sexuality, reproductive health education, information on sexual and reproductive health, family life education, teen pregnancy prevention, rape prevention, anti-bullying programs, HIV AIDS prevention, and sometimes even abstinence or abstinence plus education. One of the handouts that concerns me the most is called the gender bread person. They teach that gender is a spectrum, that you can choose to be whatever you want. We've got to stop it. We've got to use everything at our disposal. We have to stand together. My family is mine. My wife is mine. I am hers. Our children are ours. Band it together and find ways to stop it from entering your country. If we don't do something about it, it is all of us that carry that guilt. To learn more and to sign the petition to stop comprehensive sexuality education, go to stopcse.org. Together, we can and will protect the world's children.